Look at our views. Right, we're all loaded up and we are ready to go to Mount Moko. So we've got Nicolau, the driver, who's through there. <laughs> this is one of the beasts that we're going in, Ford Ranger. And then here's the other one that we somehow managed to borrow from some restaurant. Great. And it's already looking like it's gonna rain. So yeah, I'll introduce you to the team later on once we stop. But for now, we need to get on the road. It's like an eight hour drive. We've hit a problem and we haven't even left yet. So there's, there's actually no seat belt buckle for the seat, but there is this disgusting, I don't know what, I don't know what's happened to this one, but Doris is very happy about this situation. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna, oh, that is so gross. <laughs> what can, is, we clean, can we clean it? Can, I don't know, how, how does one clean a seatbelt? Um. Right, it only took about 20 minutes, but look, we've come up with a bodge solution. Just don't don't crash, Tim. That's quite, quite important. <laughs> Highly likely. Right, onwards. <laughs> Welcome to Dondo. Uh, behind me, you can see the Kwanzaa River. So back in 2016, we kayaked through here. Uh, yeah, it's pretty busy. We're about 180k southeast of Luanda, and yeah, need to keep going. So it's a long way to go till we get to Mount Moko. We're a couple of hundred k's into the journey, heading up into the highlands, and this seems to be the weather that we're going to have for the rest of the trip. How do you feel about this, Daniel? Fantastic. <laughs> I look forward to climbing up a mountain in this weather. Oh no! Like what the weather's done now. Right, welcome to Alto Alma. We are most of the way through the journey. I think we're down to the last 50k. We've just stopped for fuel here at the Total, and then we're heading that way. Things are about to get off-road, but that's essentially where the tallest mountain in Angola is. So we're gonna go and camp down there tonight. Check it out. So we are going that way, probably for about an hour, into the rain clouds. <laughs> Right, Doris, where have we arrived at? We are just pulling into Kanjone village, right up there. And that is base camp. Right, we're off into the village to meet the sober, hand over some gifts and get permission to walk up the mountain tomorrow. Tim doesn't want to be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll pixelate you out. <laughs> we seem to have quite an audience following us, as you can see behind me. <laughs> Actually not possible to see the top of the mountain because of fog. But let's hope that we can get this all sorted quickly because we need to put up the tents before it gets dark. Putting up tents by the light of the 4x4s. <laughs> yeah, we've arrived quite late. <laughs> We're also getting very mixed messages as to how long it's gonna to take to climb up tomorrow, but let's see. Right, we've got the campsite set up. Check it out. My tent. <laughs> Lodge, actually this isn't working. No. Can't see anything. An interesting end to the evening. It started raining, check it out. I'm not sure you can see that, but yeah. Heavy rain, which is basically what we're forecast to have all night and all of tomorrow as we're walking out Mount Marco. Cool. All right. It's like midnight and the tent is trying to collapse. It's raining in my tent. Not a good evening. <laughs> good morning, everybody. It's very wet. There's the mountain we need to go up. Let's check out my tent from last night. <laughs> you can see that is a, a swimming pool's worth of water. <laughs> it's like a paddling pool. Let's see how Daniel's looks in the morning. <laughs> Like you're complaining for no reason. Oh no, there's a lot of water. Look at that. Your, your flip flops are floating. This is Nikolaus' tent. Somehow he didn't abandon this. What? I don't understand. But anyway, just emptying out my tent. It's like a basically, yeah, just tip it up a little bit. There. Yes, there. Oh, there, there we go. Está molhado. Oh wow. Okay. Didn't stay dry.
Right. How's it going, Tim? Really okay. Right, off we go. You feeling confident? Sorry. Confident? Confident, Doris? Okay, that's, that's all we need. Let's do it. Right. Right, we seem to be walking down the hill into this river, and then there's the summit. That's where we need to get. Now this is steep. <laughs> right, look, we can see the cars. A little white speck just down there. There's a weird thrown thing. And we are going round that corner, so I guess the summit's somewhere over there. Right, we're down to the last stretch. Probably the last 30 or 40 minutes, I reckon. Things have got a bit steep, as you can see. We've all spread out. There's Tim just going over the ridge line. There's Daniel. And if we look down, I think Doris is just, just there. We got attacked by army ants earlier on on the trail, so that was a fun bit of a sprint up the hill. But yeah, there is a trail, you can see. And yeah, glorious weather. Sun's come out for us. Absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to get to the top. Right, we made it, look. There's even a handy sign to tell you you've arrived at the highest point in Angola. Moro de Moco. There we go. 2,620 meters. It's beautiful. Look at our views. The weather really came out for us. So we made it all the way up in about three hours. Uh, hung out at the top for about 30 minutes. Took some photos and now it's time to head down Mount Moco because we need to head to Huambo this evening. That's where we're going to spend the night in an actual hotel rather than a wet tent. Oh, life's always better when you're heading back down the mountain. We've just spotted some macaques on the way down, although I don't think they're going to show up on the wide angle lens. But let's see if we can get a bit closer to them. They're hiding behind the rocks. If you're going to do something dramatic, can you do it in like the next 10 seconds? Well, it's very impossible. <laughs> yeah. so, just, a, just a slip would do. Very I think that's what we're going to try and avoid. <laughs> Massive downpours. Let's hope we can get down to the bottom of the mountain before that happens here. It's like that scene in Indiana Jones where he's running away. Well, we've just heard the first thunder. If you look behind me, that does not look good. <laughs> we're nearly back. We just need to get over that ridge and the car's just on the other side. But I mean, look at that. Oh, there, wow. Look at the color of that guy, red and blue. Beautiful. We are suffering on the way back to the car. It's hot, getting chased by a storm cloud, which is why we're going quite fast. And this is a huge uphill section. But then once we get to the top of that ridge. Right, we're finally done. Heading back to the vehicles. What did you think, Daniel? Was that as hard as you thought it would be? Uh, harder. Harder, okay. <laughs> Actually, that's true, it probably was hard. That was ridiculously steep. I, uh, I didn't quite realize when they were kind of saying, yeah, maybe two and a half hours, that it would be like a very difficult two and a half to three hours to get to the top. Um, yeah, I think you have to be pretty fit or else it's gonna take a lot longer. Um, and yeah, weather-wise, look at that. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, definitely. Don't want to be up there in a lightning storm. So I think you really need to look at the weather reports uh, before you go up and like leave early. Uh, we left at seven, but I think that probably even that wasn't early enough. I think probably in future I would do it at six a.m. Like the minute the sun comes up, just get out there, because then you can be down without stressing about all that. 